there. We're going to talk today about applying oxalic acid as a miticide to our, our colonies. Uh, this is something that we do every year. Uh, we do an initial treatment uh, with apifar or some other uh, miticide. We finish up uh, with the oxalic acid. Oxalic acid is quite a benign material. It's in tea, coffee and rhubarb, many other uh, foods that we eat. So there's no contamination issue with the comb or the honey. So it's quite safe that way. Uh, when we're mixing it up and, and applying it, we do need to take precautions for our, our own uh, health, but they're, they're pretty easy to accomplish. So one reason we use oxalic acid is to help prevent the development of resistance to apivar. And apivar is a product we've been using for a number of years now. It's a great product. Our research has shown that of the synthetic uh, miticides, it's the safest one for bees and it's very effective. But mites develop resistance pretty quickly to especially synthetic products. So uh, we want to keep that product useful for the long time. So we're applying oxalic as a, uh, an alternative method to kill off any mites that might have survived the apivar. And those mites could be ones that would be resistant to apivar. So uh, this is a, a great simple way uh, of helping to prevent the development of resistance. It also cleans up any mites that may be left over. Uh, we get in the fall uh, the possibility of reinfestation of our colonies. So let's say for example we've applied a miticide quite early because the mite levels are high, late August, early September. Uh, by the time we finish that uh, miticide there could be other mites coming into our hives from other hives that are crashing. So the oxalic acid does clean up anything that could be reinfesting our colonies. Uh, we use the drip method for applying oxalic acid. It works really well in our environment here. We can fit it in with our, our timing when we're wrapping our hives. So very often we'll be pulling out our apivar strips, scraping off the top bars, applying the oxalic acid, and then uh, wrapping up our hives all in one day. This year we broke it down a little bit. We did we put out took out the apivar last week while it was nice and warm, scraped the top bars again while it was warm, and now we're back when it's cold to apply the uh, the oxalic acid. And being cool actually makes it work better because the bees are clustered together and when we're dribbling syrup down in between the frames uh, it comes into contact with them and they're cleaning themselves up and working with it and so they get that contact exposure to the oxalic acid. On a warm day the cluster would be loose, a lot of the material would be dripping down through and it wouldn't be effective that way. So we make up our oxalic acid and we decide how many colonies we're going to treat that day and we make up just enough oxalic acid solution to apply to those colonies. It does not keep well so uh, if whatever you don't use one day you're going to have to dispose of uh, rather than save some for the next day. Uh, there's a recipe on our website for how we mix it up. We start with uh, two to one sugar syrup and then uh, mix up the oxalic according to the recipe. So have a good look at that there. And we draw up 50 milliliters of the solution into the syringe and then we're able to apply it to the colony. So if you look down here, you can see there are bees from roughly the second frame in from the outside over to the second frame on the other side. Uh, but what we're looking at is just the tip of the iceberg. You don't see a lot of bees here because most of them are down lower than that. It's important you know where the bees are because you want to apply the oxalic acid solution directly on top of them. So you can go ahead there, Wendy. She's going to start at one side and just methodically work her way over to the other side, applying approximately five milliliters in between each of those frames there. I say approximately because some frames have less bees than others, and so you do the best you can to uh, distribute it evenly uh, through the hive there. Once that's done, we're able to wrap the hive up and close it up and call it a year. This is the last activity of the year uh, in caring for our bees. I want to mention that it's really important that beekeepers follow recommendations for their own regions. 
We follow the guidelines that are provided by the Ontario Ministry of Agriculture and Food. Uh, they're appropriate for Ontario. It may be different in your region.